So in this video, we're gonna take a look at another Wi-Fi projector, this time by Mocha. I wanna thank them for sending this over to review on the channel. Model number RD823. Now this one is 1080p resolution, native 720p resolution, 5000 to one contrast ratio, and 7500 lumen. Supports up to a 200 inch screen. This one's currently 128 bucks on Amazon, but there's currently a $30 off coupon right now. Let's go ahead and open it up and see what we've got. Pretty nice travel case here. Warranty information. Power cable. Nice little remote control. Audio video adapter. They also include an HDMI cable. Then you also get a user manual and quick start guide. Okay, so wow, this is actually really compact. When they say mini LCD video projector, yeah, okay, this is definitely mini. Nice little lens cover there. Looks like you've got an adjustable foot there on the bottom. So you've got the power back button, your arrows and okay button right there on the top behind the lens. Right there on top is your manual focus and keystone adjustment. On the right hand side is where you plug in the power. You've got a speaker there on the back. Then you got your air vent there on the side, along with the headphone jack, audio video port, USB port, an out five volt port, or a wired sync screen port, and then an HDMI port. Now, let me put my cell phone on top just so you can see how big this is. So yeah, this is really nice and compact. Now that you see what's included in the box, let's go ahead and get this set up so I can show you what the menu looks like. And of course, the most important, how does the screen look? Let's go ahead and get this connected and see what it looks like. First thing you'll wanna do is turn off all the lights because it's not gonna look that great with all the lights on, as you can see here. Once you see the home screen, you've got a nice and simple layout here with HDMI, audio, video. You've also got screen mirroring and then shortcuts to movie, photo, music, text, which don't actually do anything until you have something plugged in. Then you have USB and settings over on the left-hand side. In settings, you can change the picture mode, color temperature, aspect ratio, noise reduction. You can also reduce the display size and the direction of the projector. There's also sound mode, balance, and surround sound. You've also got a sleep timer and then you've got OSD language, restore to factory default and software update through USB. Pretty standard stuff here for most projectors. Nice thing is you can wirelessly sync your Android phone or tablet or an iPhone or iPad to this projector. Although I actually prefer to just use an adapter to plug in with an HDMI cable since it's a little more reliable. You can also connect to Wi-Fi and do a system upgrade in these settings as well. After connecting to my iPad and trying out some games, the screen on here actually looks better than I expected and didn't seem to lag too much at all, even when using a controller. So that's definitely nice to see. One thing I did notice is when displaying text, it was good overall, as long as the text is in the middle of the screen. I'm not sure if you can tell from the video, but as you get towards the edges or corners, text is definitely a little more blurry. As far as I can tell, I don't think there's much you can do about it because I've tried to adjust the focus several times with no luck. And and I also hooked up my Chromebook to this, which actually works pretty good if you want a 200 inch second screen while you're working, or if you just want to share information or video on a much larger screen. Again, screen resolution looks really good for videos and graphics. It just gets a little blurry as you get towards the corners. I feel like this projector works best for watching videos more than sharing text and information, even though you can use it for that. I think this type of projector is also good for playing retro games that doesn't require 4K resolution it can actually be a lot of fun to have games taking up your entire wall. And overall, I think you get a decent value for a small compact projector at this price. From the projectors I've tested, you have to pay about twice this amount to get a little better resolution than this one. So that's definitely gonna come down to personal preference. I also feel the speaker is just loud enough on here for a small to medium sized room. I never had to turn it up past 50 to 60 in my testing. Here's a quick clip just to show you what it sounds like.
So yeah, if you're looking for a budget or cheaper projector for your kids, maybe this is your first projector that you don't want to spend a lot of money on, you should definitely check this one out by Mocha. So if you've made it this far into the video, you may want to say thanks by subscribing and don't forget to give a thumbs up if this video was helpful. This is Brian from Fishbee Productions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.